Welcome back to the channel everybody. Guess what's happening today? Scooter stuff! Again, today we are going to be putting on a new carburetor. Now, a lot of things were left in the comments over the winter of what we should be doing with this scooter because we put the big bore kit in and then I got the upgraded carburetor for a 50cc to run on a big bore kit. But I wanna see if we can run a 150 on there. A lot of people said they could do it. And also, I wanted to test this because I know I didn't last year um, or last summer. So I got some new roller weights. I got five gram ones and four gram ones. So everybody told me with the uh, big bore kit, I should be running a lighter weight. So I'm gonna try both of these and see what happens. Surprisingly, the battery after this winter, I didn't keep it on a tender at all. It still has juice. So we're gonna try and get this thing started. Uh, I'm gonna tear it apart real quick just to kind of check everything and see if I can't clean it up. Real quick though, before we start working on this scooter, I gotta introduce you guys to somebody. This right here is Sylvie. She could use you guys' help. She's super friendly, super cute. She probably even kissed the camera. Hi, baby. She's a good girl. But as you guys can see, she had a bit of an accident and she got behind a truck when it was backing down a driveway. It broke her leg and her hip. All she wants to do is give kisses and she should be the one getting the kisses and all the love. She just wants to be everybody's best friend. Hi, baby. He's so cute. This girl needs our help. We have a Go GoFundMe going for her um, because the medical bills were a little bit higher than we expected. And if you guys can or feel like you want to donate, go ahead. I'll put the link in the description below. It would help us a lot. It would help her even more because it's a long road ahead for her recovery. We got, you know, physical therapy and all that kind of stuff that we got to do. So we, we ended up adopting her um, after we found out what happened. She's in a good home though, so we, we love our dogs. If you guys watched the last video we put out, we actually have another puppy that we just picked up and then we heard this story and uh, we had to help. Um, that's, that's how it ended up being. We ended up adopting her because the owner couldn't take care of her the way she needed to be taken care of. We stepped in and took over. If you guys wanna donate, awesome. If not, just send some love. Let's start working on the scooter. We're gonna take this thing out and cruise on it and see see what we can do, see what kind of fun we can have today. Maybe we'll get a little more uh, oomph out of this 150cc carburetor. And this is just a standard one off of Amazon. There's nothing special about this one. I just wanted to know if it would work. I'm assuming it will. With the big bore kit, it'll probably be a little better. I'll put a link in the description for it if you guys want to try this or if you need a new one. This one came with a little fuel line, fuel filter, air filter, the um, 90 degree or whatever elbow for the intake and the carburetor. Yeah, let's throw this stuff in. Uh, here's the new elbow I'm putting on. And as you can see, this hole is a lot bigger than that hole. Um, I've heard of people boring these out, making them nice. I'm just gonna run this to see what happens. Fair warning, if you guys are gonna do this, you might wanna bore it out. I might in the future, I'm just not doing it at the moment. There's a new carburetor. The old one came out, no problem. Our intake that we tested last year, I think this is gonna work way better on this one. So yeah, it'll actually be able to mount up and kind of hold itself instead of falling off every 10 seconds. Getting everything all sorted out and put back in the scooter now. Six helicopters, military looking like, going by right now. We get them every once in a while. It's always kind of creepy in a weird way. I don't know. You guys get it. Especially like nowadays, it's a little creepy when you see that many military vehicles moving around. You're like, but they're going north, so there's not really, you know, what are they going to Canada? I had to do a couple things here. Yeah. If you guys can see the throttle bracket right here, this guy, I had to like unscrew one of the bolts and flip the thing upside down because the way this wanted to mount, it would have the throttle open like part of the way. So I just flipped it upside down and it actually seems to be working fine. So I just got to get it tightened up all the way. Um, other than that, everything went in here pretty good. Um, I don't think we're going to need to hook up this vacuum line. I'm not entirely sure though. We're going to find out. Uh, we got it all connected. So I'm going to give it a shot here. Key on. Am I forgetting something? Probably, but I'm not entirely sure. So we're just going to go for it. I'm gonna go grab a jump pack just to give this thing a little more oomph. All right guys, I got the uh, jump pack hooked up here, so we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens here. Oh yeah, that's what it needed. 
Oh. Last year, I believe 45 miles an hour was like the top that it was going to go and any of the, well, you know, we'll keep, we'll get it dialed. Ooh, this is exciting. I'm ready to go, man. It's been, this is the first time on a scooter in like months. So let's, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Yep. So you guys saw what just happened there. Uh, went around the block real quick and it really didn't like going full throttle. So I assume this has something to do with it just not being able to rev out all the way. So there is some validity to what you guys are saying about putting lighter weights in there. I think it'll let it rev higher um, and allow it to speed up quicker. But I just don't know how light because I did test like three weights last year and I did test some lighter stuff. Um, but not this light. So let's just go for it. A lot of people suggested the four gram weights. I'll toss those in real quick uh, and then we'll take another test drive. Just for reference, we took out a combination of slider weights uh, and they are a combination of three nine grams and three five gram weights. And we put in all six of the four gram roller weights. I know it's gonna rev faster and higher. I just don't think it's gonna have what it takes to get up to top speed, but we'll see. I've been wrong a bunch of times doing this so hopefully you guys are right because i would like this thing to go faster huge thing is weight obviously so i weigh 200 pounds give or take a couple of pounds there That didn't do anything. Um, it did exactly what we did when we put lighter weights in it before. It does about, I don't know, 25 miles an hour, 30 at the most. Um, so yeah, lighter weights are not the answer in this situation. I wanted to believe it. I wanted to do it, you know, like you guys said, get the roller weights and put them in there. And I have these five gram ones I can test and I it'll probably go maybe a couple miles an hour faster. Um, but I'm gonna save that for another video. So we know this carburetor does work. It does run right out of the box. It runs too, and obviously you can do your fine tuning and such after that, but this one worked right out of the box. So that's pretty sweet. I'm gonna try and list out here really quick what's going on. So we have four gram weights, roller weights in there, and we have the Glixel performance variator. So I don't know the angle on the face of that, if that makes a difference too much. We have an upgraded clutch, 
Um, there is a video on that. I don't remember the specifics on it, but I, I think they're the yellow springs in there, I'm pretty sure. Um, so the yellow smaller springs, I don't think we have the yellow big spring. We might, I'm not, I don't remember for sure. It's in an old video. Um, so it's either the stock big spring in there or the yellow one. We have the exhaust system, the big bore kit, uh, which is an 80 CC big bore kit, I think, even though it says it's a, like a hundred or something on Amazon, it's not right. And then we have the intake. Um, so this thing should be faster. It should be. So something else is going on here. To be honest, it brings back immediate memories of like being like worn out with this thing after last year, after last season. Perfect timing because it is starting to rain. No way we did that right. Sweet. So that's where I'm gonna leave it for today. There's gonna be more scooter stuff, guys. I promise I'm gonna do more. It's warming up. This is the first like nice day that we've had in a couple weeks now. Tell me what you guys think, cause I, I wanna know more. And you guys do have a lot of knowledge and I don't know it all. So if you guys could help and with those things I just listed and let me know what you think I should try to change next to get it to go faster. Ooh, I forgot, it has the gear up kit. We have the gear up kit. So that could be a major problem there too. Cause when we put that in, it did go faster, but it took so much like extra to get it to do that. So I, I don't know overall what the deal is with this thing. I think more power is just the option. So maybe we have to go with like the 100 CC big bore kit or like uh, there, there's a name brand one of some kind. You guys could list that again too and let me know. I kind of forgot over the winter a lot about this stuff. It's a learning curve. I went from scooters to snowmobiles and all of the information seemed to escape my brain. So yeah, tell me tell me in the comments what you think I should do next. If you guys would like to donate to help Sylvie, uh, this little girl here right here, go ahead and click that link in the description. It's down there if you guys want to donate and help her get recovered and back to living a happy life. She's not too pleased about the, the cone of shame right now. She's a great girl. She just wants to love everyone. and She would love you guys if you guys could uh, donate a little bit. Or if not, like I said, just send some love her way and she'll get better soon. So thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate you as always. And we'll see you next time.